What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to level 9 of the Protoss campaign in StarCraft 1 remastered version. And um, this is, in my opinion, a pretty annoying level to deal with as it takes too much time to get things up and running. With that being said, though, once you get things up and running, things tend to slow very quickly. Zeratul is the most important unit in this in this level because we need him to kill the Cerebrates and to get to the Cerebrates. We have lots of defenses and lots of nonsense to break through, so... For now, we're gonna be using Zeratul to just lay a number on some of these buildings over here. And uh, it's probably a good idea to station some of your units at the uh, buildings here on the side. You might encounter some resistance. So it's just gonna be a good idea to have some units over here to defend. As soon as we have access to photon cannons, we're just gonna use that to defend the bases and then start going about making units. And uh, yeah, lay a number on what the Zerg has got. So um, what we're doing now is just clearing out some of the defenses and the nonsense that they have, but this is not gonna last for very long up until they start, up until we start encountering spore crawlers or um, the, the overlords. So yeah, very limited kind of thing. You've not enough minerals. You've not enough minerals for battle. Okay, immediately start getting our probes up and running. This is the slow part. It's not very nice. In the meantime, let's see what we can strike down with Zeratul. Be careful, they do have borrowed units on some of these locations. So if an overlord comes by, your Zeratul could die very quickly. Be careful. And... There's not much else to really say about this map. Gas is eh, just out of reach. Fortunately, it makes it very annoying. But as soon as we get our gas up and running, then things are gonna be fairly easy from there on out. Keep on making probes. Okay. See what else we can strike down with Zeratul in the meantime. At least our minerals are coming up nicely. We should be experiencing an attack very, very soon. How long it's gonna? Oh! Whoa! 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 whoa. Careful! 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 Yeah. Luckily, Zeratul has got a lot of shields. Luckily. More pylons needed. Not really much common. Okay, here we go. I do this for At the previous time I played this level, and I wondered how in the world did the Brown Zerg manage to pass through units that I stationed over here, but maybe I wasn't covering enough ground, that's why. That would explain everything. Uh, that means that they will be sending a Mutalisk this way pretty soon, I'm assuming. Okay, um, we're gonna go about building two forges so that we can start benefiting from the upgrades. We can also get this out of the way. And start preparing for um, our next side to be built on those locations. Pity that we have to spend so much resources in order to beat this level, but it is what it is. Okay. Not gonna get those upgrades just yet. Huh. Could have thought it to back on this side, but guess not. Build a couple on this side, and build a couple on that side, and then I would say for the most part, we will be okay. Now we can move our units back. Your 
Okay. The next step, of course, will be to get our gas up and running. We could use the extra supply anyways. Hold it here on the far lower side so that it doesn't attract too much attention. Start mining gas immediately and let's get our upgrades up and running too. Three for that spot though. So minerals are coming up nicely. We need the extra supply now, please. Still gonna take a while. Start the next next eye and build a pylon over here for the extra defense. And then we should be okay with resources for now. And then we're gonna build a pylon right over here to get our gateways. And then we're just gonna make units and start steamrolling through what they have. In fact, we should get that up and running inside. Okay, let's see the best. Yeah, this is the best area right over here. Build two photon cannons just for in case they have some mutilists that come through. And I think, yeah, 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 that's, that's looking fine. About three, maybe more gateways for now will be perfectly fine. Make more pylons just to prepare for that possibility anyways and uh, get access to our higher tech so that we can benefit from all the upgrades and all the nice things cybernetic score is the next step and from here on out it's pretty much a waiting game we have more than enough zealots so keep them at the back zero tool like i said most important unit keep him far behind everyone else just for now maybe let's have two and just for in case they do decide to be funny Bolt some photon cannons as well Ah, oh, nice, they can also have... Yay. For exactly that reason over there. And I didn't cancel it in time. Okay, we can get that upgrade for now. Oh, goodness gracious, we got hit by... That attack. Play. I mentioned this attack before in uh, the the Zerg campaign. It's a annoyingly devastating attack to go up against when you're facing the Zerg. Doesn't matter what kind of an army you have. When that thing hits, it brings your life down. Just just look at what it did to Phoenix. So uh, yeah, keep that in mind when having to face off against that. It's it's very 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 annoying to have to face. Um, so for Protoss, you know, it's, it's semi okay because of the shield regeneration for Terran, it's also pretty fine because Terran for the most part can heal their units or repair their units, but uh, yeah, I, I think Protoss gets hit the hardest by the Zerg, regenerates their unit, but it takes a lifetime though, so I guess you could argue that Zerg getting, gets hit the, the hardest, but... I I don't think so. I think Protoss suffers the most from plague. Okay, put our units into two different control groups. Did we get a citadel? Yes, we did. Let's get the archives next, and then we can invest in some zealots, archons, and uh, dragoons. Perfect. From here on out, let's just go about 
making... Oh, yeah, that's the dust cloud. Very effective against stuff like Dragoons, but not really against Zealot. Okay. Once this upgrade is done, it's gonna be a whole lot easier to do damage. Star Zealot. Keep Zeratul on number three. Lay the hammer on them. Well, that my my Dalkal is just not gonna stand a chance. Yeah, basically what that attack does is make sure that you miss. That's all. Like, look at that Hydralis. He's not even getting hit by a dragoon. Very, very, very annoying stuff to have to deal with. Quite a bit of damage that was done. But time to pull back. Gotcha. Okay. Looking good. And this also means that we can start investing into Archons as well. Okay, let's just wait for this ensnare ability to wear off. And then we will start with our next assault. Zealots, yep. A bunch of Zealots coming as well. We need to try and claim another base. We are starting to run a tad bit low over here. So, um, see, we should clear out that hatchery, though. That hatchery can... is, is going to be problematic, that's for sure. Any free shot at a hatchery that you can get, definitely take it up. Ah, God. The only line of defense that you have against those things. But yeah, it's looking good. It's really, really looking good for us. Drown is even coming out to play. And once we have those Archons, then all hell is gonna break loose for them. Really looking forward. Of course, we can still get hit by Plague. That's not gonna be funny, having to lose all of this that we have invested. Yeah, not gonna be nice. Against Archons, though, uh, Plague is useless. It doesn't even touch their shields, and Archons are already on that. Oh no, that's an expensive loss. Yeah, um, Archons are already on that level, or, or, or on that low life where if you drop their shields, they're done. So, uh, yeah, not that much of an achievement. Oh, we didn't lose any? Perfect, that's beautiful. I'm really glad to see that that happened. Okay, so the resources are looking pretty awesome. And the Zerg base is now also over and done with. And we have a bunch of Archons to come out and play. We're gonna see about getting a bunch more. Oh, really? Yes, look at the devastation. Ah, uh, are you to my heart? Really good at, at giving giving a large amount of damage to pretty much anything. It's only when their shields are getting low that it becomes a problem. But if you have a shield battery, then yeah, that that problem kind of gets solved. Just send them in for the shield battery, get prepared, and then back into the fight. Of course, you need quite a bit, but yeah, keep the archons alive and everything is fine. Oh, that's okay. 
Yeah, we're gonna fix that problem soon. Yeah, our army is pretty significant. We don't really have to worry about the plus three upgrades because from here on out, it's it's really gonna be easy. Not even kidding. I don't think that this army is gonna die. All I can say. If we can get these guardians to come out play. Yes, we can. Ultralisks, on the other hand, do pretty well against Archons. So, one-on-one uh, -on -one combat, an Ultralisk definitely takes down an Archon. See about getting those plus three upgrades. Yeah, we claimed another base. Get him! Bang! There we go! This is this is pretty much it for the level, to be honest. Brings there a little closer. We're gonna need him very, very soon. Yeah, knock him down. Hey, where did our arbiter even go? We lost it, didn't we? Ah, that's okay. Would have been nice to. Get some vision for us over there. Let's just max out on zealots. We've got so much going for us that why not? Maybe we can find these cerebrates ASAP. Bye, Ultralis. I think that Cerebrit is going to be located right over here, the first one. Yeah, this is it. Brown Cerebrit is located right over there. Saint Zeratul in to lay a number on him. Archons that, yeah, this is a joke. Oh yeah, don't let, don't let uh, Zeratul get killed while you are being reckless like I am. Yeah, this is it. You just knocked down my nexus. Uh, that's okay. Not important anyways. I mean we, yeah, minerals is done on that side but we're still okay I mean, the first the first um cerebrate has been knocked down we've got the paintings over here i'm not even concerned about that uh these ones yeah not a problem so these guys over here just send them and uh let them go and collect my rolls that base over there is still fine there it will still fine. There is about to come. And send in the last bit of our zealots. Get rid of the static defenses and then just send Zeratul to finish off the rest. Lost a single Archon, can you believe it? That should be it. 
Alright, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Not really a difficult level at all. It just takes a bit of time because of the scattered resources. But in any event, there you can see a nice fat ground army combined with zealots, dragoons and archons and you just lay waste to everything that they have to put up against you. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, refer to your friends who would like to learn some more about StarCraft 1 and stay tuned for the very last level of the original campaign where we get to face off against the Zerg Overmind. Definitely stay tuned. See you there.